obviously you want to maintain the history of a place like this and have respect for what people did here in the past. Tourism today, it doesn't matter where you go in the world, everybody's craving for tourism. Designing a golf course for you here, first of all, is a great thrill. And to come to this great, uh, great country for me is a great thrill. The people here are so friendly. When we designed this golf course, you've got the fresh air, which is something that not many people in the world have. It's actually a gift to nature. We've got to come in here. Now, I come in here and I see this beautiful place. Now, straight away, the first thing I think of, I've got a big challenge on my hand. I've got to make something that enhances this. I've got to give them a gift to nature. So I've got to improve on this. So I've got to put a lot of thought into that. During the building process, we'll be looking initially to be taking on about 500 local people. Wonderful. That will grow to about 1,000 people when we get close to opening, yes. when we start to fit out the resort and things like and the golf course comes to a completion. Yes. And then ongoing from that, when you've got maybe 1,000, 2,000 room occupancy, you're going to be needing around 2,500 people to actually run the resort. The river runs through on the tops of those palm trees there, and the idea is that your hotel uh, would be just the other side, yeah, just behind yes. that. You see yes. some like blue sort of like uh, light yes, yes, on yes. there. That's right the in that little there, little triangle, in that triangle there. there. Yes. And the great thing is the back of that is all national trust land. Oh, it's all government land. So nothing can be built. Yes. And what we're aiming to do there is put horse trails and nature trails. So people will so, be able to go for beautiful walks. Yes. Do you have a bit of tennis here or not? We're signing contracts with Pat Cash. Oh, yes, the Australian, uh, the Australian right. tennis yes, player. Yes. One win will do 87. I always remember him running up That's the it. stand. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Up the yes. stand yeah. Well, he, he's, yeah. he's going to put his name and he's going to be involved in the designing of um, a tennis academy here. Yes. Where we're going to... And again, what we're doing, very important part of our um, obligations, like I like to call it, is to actually... And to, um, bring in the local people to it as well. Yes. So although it's going to be a facility for the hotel and the resort, but it's also going to be there to train the youngsters and the local people yes. to actually use the facilities here. Yes. Because probably yes. in the Southern Caribbean, there's not, hasn't been a lot of money invested in sports. If we could develop some young kid here that could be a Tiger Woods, it's possible. It's, it's not very likely because there are not many Tiger Woods that come along. No. But imagine what Gary good players come to that. Well, could you imagine <laughs> what good he could do for St. Lucia? For me, this is ideal because houses up, looking down, better views, nice verandas, big windows. And so to come here for the first time and try and do something here that will benefit the people. Now that, that to me is music to my ears. To give people a job, people a home, an opportunity for their children to be educated. As far as these accommodations, every one of our resorts that we're building, including this one, water will be reused. It means a grey water. Yes. And that will be used for watering the uh, the, uh, the fairways. Yep, yep. So any waste we have, even the the, the uh, solid waste we get, yes. that is turned back into manure, yes. and that will be also being put uh, onto the ground. All so everything, the whole resort will be organic. see that the government and people of St. Lucia stand ready to give you the necessary support and to create the enabling environment for such a magnificent project. I think uh, you did indicate that you're not only simply coming to set up a golf course, uh, but more than this, you are coming to establish a resort in a very sensitive area. Goodness. We'll have everything you here, what a, and what that's the place. key. Yeah, what a place. And he gripped the club, he says, now what's important? I said, well, Elvis, you've got to learn to, you know, move the hips. He says, the hips. He says, is that important for golf? I said, yes. He says, baby, 
You're talking to the right man, man.